everyone, Vincenzo here with a new UK tutorial. This week, let's learn how to play I Want Back Down, one of the most famous songs by Tom Petty. Listen up, this song is what I call a false easy song because it seems very easy, but if you want to play it well, there are quite a few small details that you should take care of. Anyway, let's get straight to it. The chords that you need for this song are very simple. E minor, G, C and D. However, I'm gonna be playing D using this shape instead. So I'm doing a bar with my index on the fourth, the third and the second string, second fret, and the first string is muted. You see? I personally prefer this shape, but it's up to you to choose which one you wanna use. Having said that, let's start working on the verse. The strumming pattern for the verse goes like this. Three, four, dum, 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 and again, dum, 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 dum. Notice that I'm adding palm muting. So what I'm doing is resting this part of my right hand more or less over the bridge. You see, like this. Now let's do the strumming pattern one more time. Three, four, dum, dum. And this is the chord progression. If you want, you can follow the chords as they are, but if you want to play this song very well, there are a few things you need to pay attention to. First thing, you have two chords within one measure, E minor and D. And so it goes like this, three, four, E minor, D. But the most important thing to notice is that the G comes in one eighth note before. This is called a push because it's literally like the chord is being pushed to start sooner than it should. And it goes like this, three, four, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G. So I'm actually strumming the D three times instead of four, one, two, three, and the G nine times instead of eight. Let's do it again, three, four, E minor, D, G. By the way, you have a push on the G, but not on the C. So for the C, you just play this, three, four, E minor, D, C. Now, let me play the entire verse for you so that you understand better how it works. Three, four, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, C, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G. One more thing, verse 2 and 3 and the solo, which is based on verse follow this progression but verse one is shorter it's like this this is one of those things that you can easily pick up by listening to the song and by the way let me add that playing together with the original recording is a great exercise that i recommend you do now it's time for the chorus but actually before doing that i need to show you uh, what happens at the end of the verses before the choruses Three, four, E minor, D, G, and now G, C, G. One more time, slower. Three, four, E minor, D, G, G, C, G. By the way, I'm strumming down for G and up for C and down for G. One more time, three, four, one, two, three. By the way, if you find this G, C, G too difficult, you can try this. G, G sus4 and G. And so it will go like this. Three, four. And as you can see, it still works. Going back to the actual chorus, the strumming pattern for the first part of it goes like this. Up, up, down, up, down, up. 
if you've noticed, this starts on the end of beat one. And this is due to the fact that you're coming to the chorus from this part. Up, up, down, up, down, up. Let me do it again. Up, up, down, up, down, up. Now, on the last upstroke, I'm changing to G. And you will see why. This is the chord progression for the first part. And I'm gonna add this G every last upstroke, but not on the last D. So you see, these things uh, make the song a bit more challenging. And having said that, let me play the entire first part of the chorus for you, and I'm gonna start from the end of the verse. One and two, G, C, G, C, G, D, G, C, G, D, G, C, G, D. And now let's have a look at the second part of the chorus. This is the chord progression. Here you can use the same strumming pattern you used before in the verse, but this time without palm muting. So it will sound like this. 3, 4, E minor, D, G. E minor, D, G. And by the way, you have the same push on the G like you did before. Now, let me play the entire chorus for you. One and two, G, C, G, C. The intro is simply the first part of the verse, this one, and the solo happens over an entire verse. Now let's have a play along. I'm gonna be playing the verse and the chorus, and then you can decide how to arrange your own cover of a one back down. The tempo will be 114 BPM, which is the tempo of the song in the original recording. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing. The aim of this tutorial was to give you an overview of a one back down so that you can put together your own cover of it. On my Patreon page, you can find the chord chart and the backing tracks that you need for practicing this. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. By the way, don't forget that if you liked something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you manage to learn this song. By the way, if you want to take your plan to the next level, have a look at my free course here on YouTube and download my free A-step roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process of follow to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the other links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that I've got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!